we have spent some time understanding what limits are, but up until now we haven't covered any practical uses. Limits are most often useful in mathematical proofs and definitions, and we will see that in this lecture when we define what a continuous function is. So let's dive right in. A function is said to be continuous at point C when the limit exists as x goes to c and is equal to f of c. In simpler terms, this means that the function has to exist at point c and do what you would expect it to. Let's look at the example we've used in previous lectures. We can see that the function exists at x equals 2 and equals 14. However, the limit as x goes to 2 equals 16. The function does something we would not expect at x equals 2. The limit equals 16, which does not equal the function value of 14. Therefore, the function is not continuous at x equals 2. When a function is not continuous, we actually call it discontinuous. This particular discontinuity is called a whole. The concept of continuity can be applied to more than just one point on the graph. A function is continuous when the limit as x approaches c equals f of c for all points on f of x. This means there are no vertical asymptotes, steps, or large holes on f of x. While we already determined that the hole in our graph is a discontinuity, our example is still considered to be continuous by most mathematicians. The reason is that except for this very one point, the function is otherwise continuous. The whole, in this case, is just considered to be a point discontinuity. Several point discontinuities may exist in a function that is otherwise considered to be continuous. However, no major discontinuities may exist, such as vertical asymptotes. A function may still be continuous on a limited range, even if it does have discontinuities. Take a look at the hyperbola f of x equals 1 over x. There is a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. Besides that, there are no discontinuities. So for example, on the range x is greater than 2 and less than 100, the function is continuous. One last thing, look at the absolute value function above and its graph. For x less than 0, f of x equals 1 minus x, and for x greater than or equal to 0, f of x equals 1 plus x. The limit as x approaches 0 from either direction equals 1, and f of 0 also equals 1. This meets our criteria for a continuity. Even though the graph may look a little funny, this function is continuous. But because there are different equations for different ranges, this function is said to be piecewise continuous. We hope you enjoyed this lecture from freeacademy.com. Please visit our website for more lectures and to support free education.